Hi and welcome to Be Outdoors. I tend to make a habit that every time I go out I learn one skill and today I'm trying to improve my skills in feather stick making. So what is feather stick? Well a feather stick is just a stick that you carve, little feathers. If you imagine a Christmas tree and you got all the branches coming out of it and that's what you want to try and do with a feather stick so that if you're building yourself a fire and you can use that feather stick as a fire starter there's a little tinder and at the same time what happens is by doing that you take the outer bark out so any moisture that's in the outside that goes away and you just improve your chances of getting a successful fire so if you just carve a few of these every time you go out or every time you sat around the fire then you become good at it and the better you become at something the more opportunity you're giving yourself of being successful outdoors so it's not about mastering something so it looks nice for other people it's about mastering something as a skill that you're gonna use one day I don't want to become good at making feather sticks so that I can show people oh look at my feather sticks I've got nothing to prove to anybody but myself you see your feather stick should look something like that now it looks quite easy but it's not actually there's a technique around it and as you go all the way around you feather the knife and then you sort of tilt it upwards like that and you curl that little piece you curl it over allowing further space for another one next to it and you keep going until your stick is thick enough for you to break off and you make a few of them and those will light quite easily with a ferro rod and if you've got some fat wood even better but to start a fire they're absolutely brilliant but you get the general idea I'll be sharing other tips of activities you can do around camp around the fire they will improve your skills and making feather sticks might sound like a pretty boring and useless activity but to be quite honest with you there's a second part of this is that because you're trying to do something which is quite precise you learn how to handle your knife and you learn the carving process and that's a skill that you can apply to many other projects that you do when I first started carving I used to sit for hours just by the fire and just carve and people used to ask me what are you making a toothpick and essentially that's what it was because that carving a piece of stick just got thinner and thinner and thinner but it didn't bother me because I got used to the knife essentially I was just developing my skills and as I got more confident as I grew confident and my skills got better I applied them to carving and that's what it's all about practice practice and practice some more because practice 
makes perfect and it makes life much easier so when you go out apply one rule to yourself try and learn one skill every time you go into the forest or the wilderness or wherever you go outdoors because these skills are not skills that you can be taught and they will magically happen skills take time and practice So that there will age you into fire making. That is a feather stick. And that there will be a beautiful little piece of tinder for you to start a fire with. So as you can see, I'm all packed up now. I've checked the ground, made sure there's nothing visible that someone's been camping here. Yeah? Even though we're in a private woodland and this is a spot I'll come camp again because there's walkers and, and horse riders and so on and they do have access through here you want to leave the place presentable not only that but it actually makes a good example to do it all the time so that you get used to every time you camp you pick up your litter and you just scatter the leaves and foliage all over so that way you left it how you found it before we end the camp, I'd like to give a shout out to John Callenfoldy. He owns Levu Owners Worldwide and he had a competition. Not a competition, he, he asked people to sort of put their ideas towards designing a, a logo um, and a, a badge. And I put in a design and my design was chosen, which, hey, really proud of that thank you very much and he sent me one as a sample so they're not they're not being printed out yet or anything like that so he sent me this as a sample um, it's, it's actually very nice and I'm proud to have that on on my on my backpack so check the group out Lavu owners worldwide. Um, John is a brilliant guy, very nice guy. And the group is also very nice. I don't think I ever been in the group that there's been any issues or anything like that. It's a cracking set of people in there. It's absolutely brilliant and worth following on Facebook. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll put a link to the group down, down below. All the best.